So it's 1996 and I'm at a Bible camp. I'm lodging with the speaker for the event. And I think to myself, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell him what's on my heart. You see, what had been on my heart was this call to ministry. But I was struggling inside because of all the things of my past. I felt that I could not be a pastor. That call was burning in my heart and I finally opened up to this minister and I said to him, I began telling him, you know, I feel that God has called me to the ministry, but I really don't think that I can do it because, and I started going down all the reasons, all the things I had done in my past that, you know, I felt disqualified me from entering the ministry. I had just become a Christian. And as I'm talking to this minister, he's sitting on the bed and I remember him looking like this. He's listening to me and he's just doing this. And I'm thinking, man, he like, does he have an attitude with me or something? Like, what's going on? Like, why is he doing this? And I'm telling him like, you know, I just feel this burning in my heart. And yet I just think that the things I've done in the past just, you know, and I've talked to other people about this and, and told them my struggles. And, you know, I just really don't know what to do. And he's sitting on his bed and he's just doing this. And he's not saying a word. And then I finished talking and it probably took me like 10, 15 minutes to tell him everything I had to tell him. When I'm finished speaking, he, he does this. He just, and then he looks up at me and he says these words. He says, what doest thou here, Elijah? And I was blown away. See, I knew those words. I knew where those words came from. They came from the story of Elijah. After he had this mountaintop experience, he got this threat from a woman named Jezebel. And Jezebel promised because of the work that he had done that she was going to kill him, that he would be dead the following day. And the Bible says that Elijah ran for his life. He ran to this cave. And in the cave, the Bible literally says that Elijah requested that the Lord take his life. Cave talk. That's what he was saying to me. He was asking me, why are you talking all this negativity? Why are you talking yourself out of a mission that God has called you to accomplish? How often do we do that to ourselves? How often do we cave talk our way out of what God has called us to do. Listen guys, I want to encourage you this week. I want to inspire you this week to stop talking cave talk to yourself. I could have cave talked my way out of ministry. And were it not for this man of God who said to me, what doest thou here, Elijah? I would have never entered ministry. I want you to think about that for a moment. Those simple words, what doest thou hear, Elijah? What does God have for you that you've cave talked your way out of, right? What does God have for you? What future does God have laid out for you where you have said, no, nah, I'm not worthy. Yeah, God can't use me. I don't have the skills. I'm not able to. What are you cave talking yourself out of right now? I want to tell you these words, guys. I want to say to you these words that were said to me. Why are you in your cave? What doest thou hear, Elijah? Listen, this wasn't a huge voice to me. Like this minister didn't say, man, I think God has called you and you should. He just said those words. What doest thou hear, Elijah? I think if I remember correctly, I think that was the end of the conversation. I want you to think about this. When Elijah was in that cave, God came to Elijah and God said, Elijah, I want you to go out of this cave and I want you to stand on the mountain. And then the Bible says that this mighty wind came, but the voice of the Lord was not in that mighty wind. Then an earthquake came, but the voice of the Lord was not in that earthquake. And then it says that Elijah heard a still, small voice. And it was in that still, small voice that he heard those words, 
what doest thou here, Elijah? Listen, it doesn't take, sometimes we look for God to speak to us in some big, you know, some huge way. Ah, this is God's sign. But let me tell you, God does not always speak like that. Sometimes it's the still, small voice saying to you, get up, go forward, advance. So look, I don't know what you're struggling with this week. I don't know what the big thing is before you. And I don't know why you may be in that cave. But I want you to hear these words. Elijah, put your name in there, right? Whatever your name is, Michael, Tina, Tony, whatever your name is, put your name in that place and hear the voice of God ask you, what doest thou hear? Beloved, be inspired and go forward. God is on your side.